Okay, so picking up this one where I, wherever the hell I left off, I'm going to load, and I think 12 would seem to be where we were then. Game loaded. And if memory serves, we will have had a power-up, probably a transfer creature. I also don't know what my audio levels are like. I haven't adjusted it in this version of OBS. I record in regular OBS, and I'm using the Streamlabs version for the sake of this, so... Levels suck, let me know so I can unfuck that. Um, do we have a transfer creature bonus? Here we go. If I can select it. And we want to take our big scary vampire with us. So be it. Voices may be a little quiet. Right, give me a second and I will see about unfucking that. Uh... Let's see, so that's on minus 3.2, I will just turn that up, minus 2.2, how is that? Hopefully that's tolerable. Also, hey ghost, how you doing? Yay, we get that. Alright, Terra does the next map have for me. It's nice to be streaming again. It's very rare that we've had uh, time during the day that I can stream. So it's nice I'm on top of things. Life is good. In the Finally child free again for an afternoon. So I thought I should Nothing stream something and it made more sense to chip away at this. The exchange of kind hearted greetings. A disgusting this this is a game that I can just smash my face into for a while. Um, if I hit a wall, then I hit a wall. I don't have to finish a map in a sitting now. Okay, this map. We need to act quickly. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Yeah, I don't give a flying fuck about my creatures right now, mate. Uh, we need to act quickly to cordon off if we can. Uh, ideally... Walling off along here. You need to build a lair for your creatures. My creatures can go suck it right you now. Do not have enough gold. Fortify around there. Um, just pick up through here for the moment. I don't want to claim that yet. Across here. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Oh, fucking stupid me. Perspective being everything there. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna bite me in the ass right there. Uh, and this one, if memory serves, is a bit trickier. Memory serves as actually a um You need to build a lair for your creatures. Uh, you must build a treasure room to, be to store about. gold. We need a treasure room. Okay, well I can do that. I am going to just put that here for the moment. Where am I digging? That's right, we're digging up through here. This will also bankroll some more imps to do more digging and fortify. Oh my god, can I just stop clicking on all of the things, please? You need to build a lair for your creatures. You do not have enough gold. Let's your gold here. reserves are running low. Have you you do not have there? enough gold. Uh, is what I'd be saying if there was anyone putting down lair, uh, putting down, claiming tiles. Right, so we've got two other keepers on this map, but all of the value is here in these gem seams. There's gold there, but there's a, a dungeon bonus around here too. Uh, mid save. Can I have a new slot? No, we have to overwrite one. Okay. Uh, 13A. Game saved. You need to build a lair for your creatures. 
God, my creature's a fucking whiny bitch. How about you get your little ass over here and start claiming some shit, mate? Get to it. Um... Right, who else is not fortifying who should be you fortifying? You need to build a lair for your creatures. Many people. So this is my strategy on most of these later maps, is just wall myself in, build up, and then rush. And it's served me well so far. Oh, can we afford another imp? No, we can't. But what we can do now is put a lair in there. And once we have fortified, I can then start thinking about properly... Oh, we can afford another imp now. Your goal is a catering to this lot of ungrateful turds. Uh, start a chicken farm there. Oi, oh, it's just probably the, the least concerning one of them all. Another one down here. This one we'll at least see when they're doing that. I swear to god, if that was an imp. Uh, where are you guys? Dudes, just, no, unnecessary. Up there, please. Little guy, I love you, I love what you're doing, but we need some of this up here. Alright, so what are you guys? Yeah, you're doing exactly the same thing as me. And having done this will be more than adequate resources. No. More than adequate space, I should say. Oh dear. Hey B-Cat, how are you? Alright, so we are... Right, we're good. We are safe. We can start interior decorating. A lair around here, I think. Do three around. We're going to basically have infinite resources here, so I don't need to care too much. Do that. And that. How's life on the other side of the globe? Surprisingly cool for the peak of summer, actually. We're in the last week, or the middle of February, which for us is peak heatwave season, and it's been rainy and cool the last couple of days. I could quite get used to this. Uh, this will be... Dead Food space, scarce. really. Enlarge your hatchery. I suppose we should give him some food, because we want to keep it happy and all. You do not have enough gold. Okay, we can just do all of this out. So no, it's pretty good out here. How about things over there? Have you dealt with your resident domestic terrorist leader yet? Rat. Oh well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we're just gonna let these guys chip away at stuff. This is a nice cruisy stream game. I don't know why I didn't stream this sooner. It's like banished with teeth. You can just sit and let them do their thing for a bit. Banished is another game I need to get back into. I need to roll another village up. Your gold reserves are running low. Watch them freeze to death. So I'll probably do hatcheries here and on the other side. 
just for ease of access to food. You need a bigger treasure room. Jesus Christ, winch winch, fucking winch. I look forward to it. Foundation. Uh, I will have a look at that. Because I am dying for more banished clones. Yeah, that's the assumption here. But you never know, B Cat. Strange things have happened. I will take a look at that after after my stream. Your gold reserves are running low. You do not have enough gold. Getting there. Let's dig that out. So eventually this will all become treasury as well. Once that's full. Honestly, b b Banished... Ghost... B banished is a game that I would have loved to have had a mobile version of. And it's the kind of gameplay that would have really lent itself well to it. Something that you could just leave running on a... You know, running on your phone or a tablet just in the, the corner of your desk and check in to see who survived an hour later. Exactly! Entrance has been claimed. I can see the microtransactions already. You know, to resurrect this useless villager, eight ninety-five. Dig that out. So many more do we need? Your gold reserves are running low. Oh, they understand. They fully understand. It is payday. There is absolutely no doubt, B Cat, that they are crystal in their understanding. Oh, yes, we got two batches of eight. The training room will be next so that we can start training up some imps. How's the monster count? See, I don't really give a shit about the monster counts for the other guys because... Well... We've got our vampire and he'll fuck everything up. One thing I miss about Dungeon Keeper 2 is the ability to click and drag rooms. Select a whole area and plant it as opposed to one tile at a time. This is where the, the, the switch at my left mouse button started dying. They're truly not, mate. They are truly not. I don't know. What about um, War for the Overworld? Is there, do you know if there's any or any meaningful work, uh, Steam Workshop content for that? See, what you got right there, B-Cat, is an indictment of not only the American education system, but American society as a whole. I make the same admission there, my, my friend. I've, I remember playing through it. I'm sure I've actually played through it when it first released. And that was around the time I started Let's Playing, I think. 
as I'm sure I played it on this system, which was, yeah, just after I started LPing. The games like this are just so hard to let's play. They're so hard to to fill the airtime. They're, they're, they're good idle games, as we had banished. Fantastic idle games. Uh, thank you for the YouTube notification. I can watch that video later, though. My minions will leave your dungeon. Unless it is a YouTube notification of Herakabra uploading more Tarkov, I'm not interested. Exactly, hence there's no Warcraft Let's Play. <laughs> Working on it. That sounds interesting. Last time I saw any news about War for the Overworld, it was the, the Christmas imp skin. Which is how long ago I last looked. Apparently Creativerse is still releasing new content too from time to time. I remember seeing something about the, the holiday event last year, thinking I should check that out and just not getting around to it. Sadness. True sadness. Drop that there. Um, just go ahead and pick all of that up. No, it's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Okay, training room. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'll just throw eight imps in. And we're going to need to keep funds flowing. So once we've got even eight level four imps, we'll be fine. Level three imps will be fine. Once they can turbo themselves, that's when the game hits easy mode. Uh, oh, we have claimed a portal. I suppose we need to actually create rooms. We've got plenty of space for bile demons. Um, so I wonder if there either are any in the monster pool for this map, or if they've just been poached by the other lot already. Uh, a library. The noisy shit on this side, we'll have the quiet shit on this side. Genius. Bonk. There. Alright, you. Oi. Prick. Make yourself useful. Pick shit up. Uh, I don't want to even slap them at the moment. I don't want to do anything that's going to disrupt them imping. This one, on the other hand, fucking freeloaders. There we go. A new Warlocks. spell has been researched. So we just got to keep them separate from the the vampire until we've researched a cemetery. Boop. No. There. Do what I say. How positive a life choice is he making? They know he's not running. They can just run. He is not. A new room has been researched. Uh, bridge. The vampy is doing his job at least. Thank you, my friend. No, I want to get through this because I want to play. Um, I actually want to start replaying some of the dungeon crawlers again because I miss playing dungeon crawlers. Um, but I need to finish this. Really need to finish this. Banging my head on it via stream is a really good alternative. Um, especially when I get up to map 18, which is an absolute prick of a map. I hate map 18 of this game so fucking much. To the point that I would, it is not 
beneath me to look up a cheat to skip level 18 entirely after, say, three strikes, because I hate it so much. But other than that... <laughs> I thought you might. I thought you might. It's just a, a bit of an inkling I've had. Uh, something that came to me while I was in, in, indulging in my morning coffee, catching up on the morning's YouTube the uploads. Has been so what's this, a barracks? We get a tool tip? No. Well, we don't really have a need for a barracks, but it can attract things that can bonk other things, so we'll put one there. Guard post, that's what that is. We don't need that. Um, but... A new spell has been researched. One, two, three, four, five. But we can build a barracks up there still. Right, Just, I hate map 18 so fucking much in this game. Anything that gets me through it. Pretty much. I've beaten map 18. I have legitimately beaten map 18 twice. Back when I was a kid and I would spam this game in my in between my weekly playthroughs of Doom and Hexen, um, I beat this this game twice legit. This is not a game I am playing for the sake of finally having beaten it. A new spell has been um, it's a game I'm playing because I miss playing it. But that map, I have nightmares about that map. Absolute nightmares about that map. Just because you've got no gems, you've got no way of building up you just kind of have to hope that you've guessed the right sweet spot and rush and hope that they make mistakes along the way. It's probably the one legitimately normal map though as opposed to the rest of these where you can just turtle yourself in. Oh, a level 2 warlock. I quiver in my boots. A new room has been researched. Like I said, I'll give it a couple of, of, of tries, but it's not even a map that I could get to the end and feel a sense of victory. It's just, thank fuck, that's over. Which I'm sure Murica Broke can identify with. But yes, after that, then we have... Pardon me, as I swallow my ice, my ice mocha. After that, we have... I don't know if I want to go either Beholder or Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon Keeper, Dungeon Master, Jesus Christ. Um, they're both getting replayed, as is Bl Black Crypt's getting a re-replay. Um, I don't know which one first. You guys are all growing in the happy little mites. Two. There's a bunch of gold down there. A new room has been researched. I'm sure I saw four piles. Oh, in fact, five. Oh. Well. Oh, he's a, <laughs> a happy little. No. Just save ourselves a couple of grand. Now. We'll tip our friendly neighbourhood vampire. We got any more rooms? Yes, we have. We got the barracks finally. Creature. I shall crush you, in an and you can see here where the wall is now double-sided, as opposed to down here, where it's where you can only see the the bricks on one side. Up here, where it's hit on both sides, you can tell that they've gone and, and mined out on the other side of it, and they've hit your wall. So we'd be getting hate fucked by either side but for that wall and yeah they do they've got a bile demon they beat me to him I don't know however will we cope etc uh, we need to put a prison in because we are going to have money to burn so I reckon a prison can go here a 
new spell has been researched. I think if I actually do any Dungeon Keeper 2 content, it is going to be just the fucking, uh, playthrough of the My Pet Dungeon thing. I just don't see myself let's play in Keeper 2. But was it male or 42? I am sure that someone has done a let's play of Keeper 2. I'm pretty sure it was male. No, Keeper 2 is a good game. Absolutely fine game. Uh, just not a game I've got patience for. It's a very different game to this. A new room has been Lovely game though. Uh, my eyes need that just to line it up better. Oh, there's space for more chickens in there. What am I doing? Yeah. These are such good games back when Peter Molyneux was relevant. A new spell has been researched. Your library is too small. I want the little imps. Yeah, him. So these and black and white too. Well, his only meaningful contribution to the gaming universe, but they were really good contributions. Actually, Syndicate Wars, I think, was one of his too. I know it was a bullfrog game. Oh, Syndicate Wars is something I should unpack. Syndicate Wars is my betrayal at Crondor. And for people watching the VOD of this betrayal at Crondor, I make as a reference to it. It was a game that Murica Bro absolutely just remembered loving the thought of, but hating the combat. And a new room put him off and off and off until he actually picked it up and was like, I was wrong. And that's how I imagine I'm going to be with Syndicate Wars. The combat and the, the the gameplay mechanics of that game between the research function and actually going and running missions was a nightmare. I have nightmares about that game to the, in the same way I've got nightmares about one map of this. <laughs> and I need to pick that one up and will tell myself whether I was right about it or whether it's worth actually playing because I could get researched. two or three Your maps into it and then I just hit a wall that I go splat every single fucking time. Got a temple. We're nearly up to having a graveyard. One of my life goals is to pick that game back up and see if it's actually any good, and if I can bring myself to finish it. Since we're about to have 16 high level imps chipping away at this, might as well fill this in as well. This will not take them long to fill. A new room has been researched. There's our graveyard. We get a couple more vampires in exchange for these useless warlocks. should do is level them up, lure in the other warlocks from the other keepers and then sacrifice them all. Now where are you? I did not say you could be there. Right, do I have any more level 1 imps where level 1 imps should not be? A 
A new spell has been researched. That is not an imp. He Your is library fine. is too small. Uh, prison. Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. I wonder who that is. You can hop out. You can hop in. Oh. Uh, I'd better lay that down so that when they do inevitably come to blows again, Harems can clean it up effectively. Waste not one hot. And torture chamber can go here. So, they come in real nicely. Um the game really isn't giving me much to play with, though. Just 19 Warlocks. Are these guys having at each other yet? I should probably put my headphones on properly. Can we hear anything? A new room has been researched. No, they're not really having a go at each other, are they? they I think they've dropped a, a couple each. I think there's a reaper in here. Oh no, it's just a, a troll. Uh, where's the trap here? I remember there being a boulder trap somewhere around here. Where, oh where... There it is. Fuck. So that'll go up around and into there. Actually live with a ball. But it's fortified, isn't it? Yeah, it's fortified the way around, so you can only get to it. Your library is too small. You can only get to it via that boulder. Or with extreme patience, because that should be the earthquake spell, or the destroy wall spell, whatever the game calls it. So that'll be our other ticket in. And I'm happy to wait because it's just a fucking useless troll. Not up to level three yet? Not quite. Wait, some help. My minions will leave your dungeon a crumbling of ruin. Good luck, I gotta get to it first. And there's our scavenger room. Let's finish building this. Okay, where am I going to put the scavenger room? Uh, I guess in here. A new spell has been researched. Your library is too small. Not very, st very stupidly overboard with this. There. Um. God damn it. Uh, let's see here. Two, three, four, five. Like 
so nope. Like so. Path in the middle. Path in the middle. There we go. Okay. So there one will be a temple, one will be scavenger room. And woo, they are all level three. Nearly all level three, except for that one decided to go off and do his own thing. So free will is a thing that this god cares about. I have 17 imps. No, we 16 imps. I'm just a fucking moron. Like so. Alright, fellas, have fun with that. Let's tag this, let them dig it out. Ah, oh, dear idea. I'm wondering if those two keepers are actually going to go in war with each other or not. Happy now. Grab you lot too. <laughs> now, Chris Scavenge. Basically, this map now is just waiting. So we started with 19. We've still only got 19. Okay. Throw every last warlock in there. Where are you going, mate? Are you still in the library? Good boy. We've got one spell left. It'll take him forever to research it, but it'll be worth it. Um, Just waiting it out until then. I feel like we need to do something to break this. Ah, oh, here we go. They're doing things. 20. We are now managing to lure away some of these warlocks. Fresh corpses for a vampire army. On that note. Super Turbo Warlock Slapper. Green. for luring in other critters. So 
I'm guessing that those corpses were marked by other imps. Thank you. That was a lot more complicated than I think it needed to be. And you need to get your ass in there and train. The mistress also needs to get her ass in there and train. Bearing this in mind, I'm actually going to expand my training room and give it a more direct route to the hatchery. We appear to have picked up a couple of extra warlocks as well. So we know what to do with them. Zoom in so we can really appreciate their little sad faces. So I think it's every ten of those we get another vampire. A job. You little shit, come back here and drag that corpse. Uh, no, we've still got 15. Your scavenger room is too small. Let's see. Training room. Training. Thank you. Yeah. A little excessive for the current workload, but be patient. <laughs> Speaking of 10 year long LPs, actually, I want to play Stalker again. Playing so much Tarkov has also given me a taste to get back into Stalker. And it has the pressing matter though of you know, when am I going to get over Tarkov enough to actually put that down long enough to pick up Stalker. Oh, we got ourselves another Warlock. Over here. Thank you. Do your thing. Good <coughs> limp. Okay, so Red is officially one entire side of the house but closer than where I thought she was. <laughs> you're fine. I thought you were in the living room and then suddenly I've got you know, plague behind me. Empire has risen in your graveyard. Min minus ten stealth. <laughs> Pardon my own snuffles. I guess we can probably just kill these five as well. Because we've got eleven working the scavenger room, doing a pretty solid job as it is. We can just throw these into the vampire endowment fund. That sounds wrong. Well. Have we finished researching? Ah. 
Hey, he's actually, like, doing shit this time. Go you, little imp. I'll kill you last. No, we have not finished researching that spell. No, we are not likely to finish researching that spell this stream. Oh dear, but we've got a, a few more creatures to throw alongside those vampires to pretend that anything that's not a vampire actually fucking matters. Back over here and slap these. Oi, no, you go over there. Hey Leahy, how are you doing? Stay here, zoomed in, ready to smack that uh, vampire's warlocks. Oh, I'm doing my best Kiko impression today. Are you a newbie? You are a newbie. I wonder if I turn the CPU cycles up to infinity, the game will go turbo mode and we can train in half the time. It's going. Feels good to be chipping away at this one now too. Not in a sense that I want it done. I certainly would be happier when I'm on the other side of map 18, but... No, this, this is good. This is fun. This is... Uh, the other side of the, the, the banished coin, as I was saying to Ghost LPs earlier. This is equally chill in its own way. Do we got ourselves another vampire? Yes, we do. In the training room, you go. Along with. Why have we got a level 2 warlock? I'll say right now that level 2 bro is going in there. And these two are going in here. Another level 2 warlock, in fact. We thank you for your service, but it's time to visit the graveyard. My dog is doing something incredibly stupid, which is totally unlike my dog. Absolutely unlike him, that fucking example of peak canine intellect that he is. I'm imagining him levitate right now. It is payday. Okay, that, that, that was certainly different. I'll pay, I'll pay that. Oscar, go to bed. It's 
stupid dog is stupid. Yes. One of your creatures is being scavenged. Oh, you just scavenge right back. Where is she going? Well, that was interesting. I hope she's actually still doing her thing. Just get some space in here, please, for her. I can only assume that they did not take too kindly to having us scavenging their warlocks. So, oh no, they'll get a level 4 mistress. Or, if I can't have her, no one can. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I got nothing. And yet if it had been a male NPC, I would have been fine. Jesus Christ, I got it. that level 2 imp that I left in there is now level 6 because I forgot about him. I was like, holy shit, it's a fucking biodemon sized imp. Let's go back and kill these two. What kind of dog? He is a greyhound. If you grew up with your impression of greyhounds being Santa's little helper, you won't be disappointed. I forgot that there was keyboard shortcuts until just then. Yeah, that, that is a, a thing. We're talking about greyhounds, right? Oscar finds 25 hours in the day to sleep. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. Ooh, another baby vamp. <laughs> Jesus, they're doing really well pulling those those warlocks across. Literally as fast as I can kill them now. To, mate. Speed boost. Your 
Your creatures are fighting amongst oh, themselves. Oh dear, I wonder what that is. See, I want to sound surprised by this. I desperately want to sound surprised by this. Every now and again, Oscar will do zoomies, usually in the backyard, and usually when no one's expecting it, and it's one of those wholesome things when you look out the door and, and see him running to and fro. But that happens maybe once a month now. He's a very old greyhound as well. Yep, he is one of the family. I'm mildly impressed that the other side's monster count is staying fairly constant. All we need to do is let these hellhounds level up. Once they hit level 10, we'll start moving them into the scavenger room. So are they even leveling theirs? And we've had, what, level 3 warlocks. empty library with, I'm assuming they are level 1 imps, level 1 warlocks, nothing impressive either way, treasury, and we're not going to need everything maxed out if this is what we're up against, oh level 2, level 2 dragons, cool. Very cool. Oh, here we go, level 6 something or other. Oh, level 6 dragon. I do like this one more than the second one. I like the free reign aspect of this more. I don't like the the rails feeling you get with, this, with the second one. You know, the second one, you build your dungeon, but you have to build it in a certain way. You have to um, use a certain strategy to get past each map. Um, it holds your hand and drags you through the second one. And I'm not a fan of that. Oh, level 4 warlock. These two we can put down. Oh, apparently we've got a third. Level 5. Three more to put down. So I think once we get to five warlocks, I'm part of five vampires, then we'll draw a line at that point. And we'll let the, the remaining warlocks sink or swim. The second game also has a My Pet Dungeon feature, which I love, which is a straight up sandbox mode. And it is so enjoyable, it's so wholesome. And it's probably the only part of that game that I would let's play. But I believe, I was saying earlier, I think either Mail or um, Mail or 42 has done a let's play. I'm pretty sure it's Mail has done a let's play of the second one. Oh. 
So we managed to level up all of our warlocks without actually putting them in a training room at this point. And you go. I must admit, I don't remember having quite such a narrow pool of monsters so early on, pardon me, at this point in this map, in previous attempts, but I also think that in previous attempts I claimed that portal straight up and trained the imps alongside, so I, I deprived myself of the opportunity to partake of the bile demon and dragon goodness that they've got up there. So what happens if I open you here? I reckon this is the spot to breach from. Yeah, they don't seem to be fighting each other too hard, those two. Oh, we picked up a fifth vampire, right. In you go. In you go. up as cannon fodder at this point. Eventually he would have level would have hit level ten and, and moved himself out. But that's full. I assume this is full two. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, we need to. I reckon. What if I do this, I can up, upgrade all of these to. My minions will leave your dungeon. Um, bigger piles. It is so one way to find out. War for the Overworld was a really good game. I finished that shortly after it came out. It was really enjoyable. It scratched all the Dungeon Kingery vibes. Pretty sure that also had a My Pet Dungeon feature, actually, or a sandboxy equivalent there, there too. Um, I can't rate that one highly enough. And Ghost was looking at that earlier in the stream. And it sounds like there's been a lot of um, expansions for it, some DLC, some uh, content packs. Um, more than just the little uh, impy Christmas skin. No, I don't want that one. I always get those two mixed up. The imp Christmas skin that they released shortly after that game came out. That like so. that because I can at this stage. Because why the fuck not? aware that attracting some creatures have certain prerequisites, like for the bile demons we need a 5x5 five five lair, hatchery, and I think a training room as well. Uh, it almost looks like they're about to complain that our training room is too small, we cannot have that. still in there researching. Oh, he's halfway there. We might actually get into that, um, into that workshop, this, this stream. 
I need to save, realizing I haven't done a game save, save since we first started this map. Has that been dug out? That has been dug out. There. Now they will be happier. Put more of them in. Not good timing since we just apparently picked up a new hellhound. So if we take too long though, then these counters actually drop off as well, because if I'm right, my working theory was always that um, there was a, because there's a finite amount of gold, then when the other keepers run out of gold come paydays, then well, their creatures will just desert them, and so you can effectively just outlast them if you get to the gems first. Again, a strategy that doesn't hold up on map 18, because fuck map 18. I got a little nine hellhound. Nice plump warlocks getting ready to fertilize the graveyard. Make sure that we do not have the game set to um, capturing enemies. We want corpses. We definitely want corpses. So given how long one of these maps takes, I might only play one map in this stream. Because we're at, what, an hour and ten minutes now, we'll probably take two hours to finish this one. And I'm from there, from there I think I might actually move this game into the streaming when I feel like it list as opposed to regular LP list. Because again, putting two or three hours aside on a weeknight is just a pain in the ass for recording purposes. So I might just throw this into the stream list, and I can pick up a crawler that I can ship away at happily, and continue on with this one with future streams, and then possibly also play some Slottery Doom goodness tonight. Tonight, today, it's only 4 in the afternoon. Of course there's one. So you get your ass back in there. Minus 21, that sounds so nice. I love the cold weather, I do not love the hot weather. It's not actually that hot here though either. This is not you know, the cliche blistering Australian summer here at all. Aside from we've had two days, the day Red and I got married. And of course. Yeah, of course that day. And a, and one day since then it has been you know, characteristically warm for Australian summer. And then it's just been this cold, almost muggy, overcast, occasionally downpoury. It's been a really good summer. It's been my favourite summer so far, mostly because it's borne absolutely fucking no resemblance to any summer, living or dead. If it 
definitely get used to this, but I know that this is just a weather weather cycle. You're having this polar vortex thing currently. That sounds badass, I have to admit. See, I'm imagining a bear in like a mage's robe on top of a hill. Casting some freaky weather magic. No, that's the thing. Wind's been winching about. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Red, Red has family in the UK and they're all freezing. Occasionally one of them manages to thaw their hand out enough to send an SOS over Facebook Messenger. They're good, they're good people. <laughs> exactly like that ghost. Exactly like that. I love that. That is, the, that is such a cool mental image. <laughs> we need Archmage Bear. Never mind Minotaurs. I mean, the, the Historic Materials series gives us Armoured Bears. You know, it's clearly, it's clearly possible. <laughs> uh. right, this sort of coming along nicely. What are you? So I'd like to get the vampires as high a high level as I can. I'd like to get them all. I think it's after level eight. But they, they, the, the, the vampires thing. I mentioned this in one of the early episodes of the Let's Play. The vampires thing is that a level ten vampire isn't just a level ten vampire. It's also a level nine, eight, and so forth vampire as well. Because when they die, they respawn at, at one level lower at their lair spot. So five level ten vampires is a fucking terrifying force. Which is precisely why that's what we're up against on the last map of this game, is an army of vampires. So I'd like these guys to be as high a level as possible. And I'm willing to bet that the um, transfer creature bonus is down here. Let's see. Oh no, there is a Reaper in there. I thought so. I don't know if there's anything in there with him. It doesn't look like it. Pathetic creature. I shall crash you in an instant. Cute little Reaper. Like we'll be able to keep him remotely happy enough. Turn that off. As they're mining away happily. Let's move some of this over there. And yes, we have up we've unlocked the next stack size up for this whole treasury by expanding it up there. Which is nice because you know we're so short on cash here. Don't know how we're gonna make ends meet. Start looking at the forest end of month cooking specials. Oh. <laughs> I love you, but I really hate you sometimes. <laughs> sometimes implies that there is room for improvement here. Level 10 
hellhound goodness. That is not level 10. I don't suppose that that's actually going to do a thing. No, Red had a good idea. I'd love to have streamed some Tarkov as well. I don't think this system is remotely up to it though. Like, given the the fun that we had getting Fallout 4 to record and stream, I think I'm just quitting while I'm ahead with the fact that Tarkov records it all. Not so much, because even when I'm getting face rolled in that game, I'm still loving it. <laughs> Put a web webcam to the side and just record me setting up the game. <laughs> exactly, Leahy. For a game put together by is I don't listed as a AAA game, and yet it runs frankly fucking better than any AAA game I I have attempted to run for a long time. I'm kind of surprised that your laptop could run it too, but now I'm thinking of that that meme that Maestro shared in Discord a while back of the guy concealing his burns and how he got those burns on his lap. And it goes to him trying to run Crisis on a laptop. <laughs> Yeah, we're putting Solitaire on Red's laptop. <laughs> Only a laptop in name, is it one of those detachable things, or... Is it a tower case that just fell over and you're running with it? Ah. Well, that's mine too. I doubt anything released now would be compatible with this this system. This system is coming up on six years old now. Few more level ten hellhounds. Doesn't seem like there are too many in the creature pool for them to lure in. battery lasted two hours even on idle. <laughs> I remember there was a night last time before we started playing again seriously she tried to set her laptop up just so that we could play Stardew Valley together and it took no shit an hour and a half just for it to finish booting and logging into Steam. Never mind installing a game or updating or installing the updates for the game. It's so fucking bad. I mean, it's been a faithful laptop. It certainly pulled its weight over the years, especially when my laptop packed it in um, a couple of years ago. And I need to remind myself that it is a, what would it be now, a five-year-old laptop? It's a five or six-year-old laptop with a Pentium processor in it. It was literally purchased to help me with my studies. 
So it, it is. We, <laughs> Red's definitely gotten her money out of it, as have I. I wonder what I could stream from my laptop. Just occurred to me, my laptop's a freaking beast. In many respects, my laptop is as good as, at least as good as this. I wonder, I wonder what I could play on that and stream from that. All its SSD drive flavored goodness. I mean, these are all just excuses for me to not cough up you know, a few hundred dollars to upgrade my, my desktop. And I readily admit this because I'm a cheapskate. So and vampires are getting there, right? These guys are running out of gold, and so they're going to have to fight it out pretty soon. Can we at least sit on the sidelines with our popcorn? Bunch of low level imps. That it? Oh, I hear things moving. I hear footsteps. Even without my headphones on, I can hear the pitter patter of teeny tiny imp feet. And slightly less tiny bile demon feet. So yeah, we can we can just sit here and wait these two out and then pick off the the victor. But where's the fun in that? We're gonna save and we're gonna throw in with them. Game saved. I don't want to lose your minions are winning a battle. Imp, so you guys stay down there and leave this to the cannon fodder. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your creatures are under attack. Oh yeah, I'm just over there. Your minions are winning a battle. Far more entertaining. Oh, that poor imp. Get fucking wrecked. Tiny problems like a slight dust build up, perhaps? See, we got this. Uh, 
trust this. The minions are winning a battle. Somehow. Your minions are winning a battle. The frame rate is so bad though. Have I lost control of this? I think I've lost control of this. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your minions are winning a battle. I've actually lost control of the game somehow. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Oh, that sucks. Your minions are winning a battle. Oh, we got control of that. I don't know how that happened. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your minions are winning a battle. We've lost all of two imps so far. We've still got our beast of... Beast of... Pardon me, two imps. Two Your minions are so winning far. a battle. Still have our beast of an imp. Still have our vampires. Your minions are winning a battle. All of the heals. <laughs> yep. Pathetic creatures. We'll have a real quick. We can use our. Teleporting vampires to. Oi, pricks! Your creatures are attacking the some enemy. of the areas. <laughs> Actually, no, we can put her down there to train. Really? Your minions are winning a battle. That's how you want to do this? Fine. Your creatures are Fun. attacking. Vampire has risen in your graveyard. Ooh, another baby vamp. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Curious what a, a bleed on your the monitor looks like. Your minions are winning like. a battle. Well, I've seen dead pixels. I've seen bright pixels. I've actually bought a when I first started law school. I bought a new laptop and bright pixels. Around your minions are winning a battle. On the screen, this is bright red thing, and it drove me nuts the entire life. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your creatures are under attack. In your graveyard. Your Ooh, minions are vampires. winning a battle. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. So this isn't going to take much longer before we put him down. I assume Greeny is He's staying in his your lane. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are under attack. I'm taking the initiative, like a good boy. There we go. He can have heals. That's the equivalent of a belly rub. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Good thing you hang on to these warlocks here. They've actually done some work for us. Your minions are winning the battle. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your minions are winning the battle. Your creatures are under attack. Your minions are winning a battle. I think these guys are the ones actually getting off that dungeon hard. They're actually getting along. A bit like the Ensign and Midship and Dungeon are winning a battle. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Oh, the tiny flashlight to one corner of the screen. Oh, flashlight, okay. 
Just a good bit. Oh, the MC will go ahead and pick out corpses for us. Ah, oh, we've got 15, Your so we have lost one of our good imps as a minimum there. 15. 5. Yeah, 20 imps. Right, and we'll just move now. Oh, that one hellhound probably had this on his own. I'm willing to bet that there the enemy. is a section of heroes that we need to care about to oh, another vampire. Don't mind if I do. Your minions are winning a battle. Oh no, it's cacophonous in the background. Rabble, rabble. Talk of a pain, but Stardew Valley's fine. Right, so now we've just got heroes to take care of. It is payday. So you guys go there. You go there. You've been a good boy, so you can also have some cash. And <sighs> we can start cleaning up. So you we've got a destroy wall one. spell there. I wonder if we actually inherit that when we... Um, well, they've got destroy walls too. So they all had destroy walls, and yet none of them thought to fucking use it on me. AI glitch there much. But it you doesn't look like anyone has got the... A vampire um, has risen in your graveyard. No one's got a transfer no, creature no. bonus, so I'm assuming then that that is up top. So we'll let those guys train up for a bit, and then we'll have a peek up there. This is what I think it is. We've probably got boulder traps in here. I think we do. Maybe not. A bunch of fucking wizards that we do totally have so much room. about. There is nothing left to research. There we go. So we've got the destroy you walls an spell. Enemy room. I mean, I could go and get this Reaper, level room. him up for a bit, and unleash him. But actually, implementing that is going to be a pain in the ass. You have claimed an enemy room. You have claimed an enemy room. You have claimed For some reason, room. that made me start thinking you about claimed an enemy room. Your awesome creatures game. are fighting amongst themselves. Your creatures are falling in battle. An entrance has been claimed. Yeah. Fucking rip wall. Yeah. Oh no, you might have actually done something there. No. You have claimed an enemy room. You leave my you vampires an alone, you cunts. An entrance has been claimed. You have 
have claimed an enemy room. Where's the other one? You have claimed an enemy room. You have claimed an enemy room. You have claimed an enemy room. Alright, so you lot just got a, a, a job. back now so that our imps can grab corpses. You have claimed an enemy room. We've lost our level 6 imp somewhere. Oh, get fucked. Now it's on. You have claimed an enemy room. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. under two hours. Then we're back to needing to find things to do with this slot. Oh, we actually don't really need to care too much about these. Sacrifice them. The gods do not care for your sacrifice. There. So now we just need to find the um transfer creature thing, secure that, and we are good to move on. I'm so acid about losing my imp though. All of my sadness. I actually wonder if there is a transfer creature on this map. Make sure that, um, Boulder is secure where he is. Right, he's 
there. Right, so if we breach from here. Like so, that should be fine. You have tunneled into a new area. We don't need to worry about the side of evil spell since, you know, we can actually see. You have taken control of a new room. And a little troll that we can use to manufacture things get to work this shit. A vampire has risen in your graveyard. Ah, oh dear, it doesn't look like we have a a um a transfer creature bonus on this map. You have taken control of the room. To work, you right? have claimed an enemy room. You right, have so taken control of the room. At what, whether we do actually have one on this map. I'm not going to look at where it is. I just want to waste my time on it. What map is this? Sleepy Borough. You have claimed an enemy room. Really? You have really, claimed Google? an enemy room. Sleepy Barrow, huh? Uh. Okay, so apparently there's even a door has been manufactured. On this. Transfer creature does exist. So, if I can't see it, I'm just go back and check all these libraries. Oh! It's literally right there. We've had it all along. Okay, well, that being the case, that being the case, we can... Do we have any other bonuses? Just that one. Yeah, just that one. Okay, well, that's all we really need. We don't need to worry about anything else on this map. Um, so I guess we save. We've accounted for the transfer creature. Just going to carve this out. So we can actually see it when we come back. Because I'm going to call... Here I'm going to have a break and then I'll probably come back in a little bit with some doom. A trap has been manufactured. But I am keep it out for the moment. One map at a time is a, a good dose. We save. So map 13. Game saved. And I guess for the moment we see how we went. Herilyn's down. The people enjoyed each other's company so much that they Um... And with that, I'm going to back out and I will, like I said, be back later on. I don't know, give me maybe an hour at most and I'll be back with some doom. I expect, I feel like shooting something, I feel like something a bit less... less... Uh, passive as this. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll be back shortly. Cheers.